Hey, welcome back. This is the channel dedicated to teaching you bite-sized hacks of psychology and also how to master relationships to become your best self. My name is Anna and today's video is signs that someone is attracted to you, but it's the type of hidden signs which are more very small psychological ones. And if you want to know a little bit more, then don't move an inch. <music> She showers you in compliments. These compliments, well, they are going to range from a whole broad spectrum. She's going to be telling you that she thinks you are attractive to telling you how good you look. She's going to say that that shirt colour looks amazing on you. She's going to talk about your new haircut. And the compliments will venture past your looks. She's going to find reasons to tell you just how kind and humble you are and how great you are at your job or even your hobby. She is, without a doubt, always staring at you. It's something we actually can't help as human beings. We stare at things we love. And if she hasn't verbally told you how attractive you are, then this is the way to find out for sure if she likes you. She cannot help but stare and admire at how attractive you are. And no matter where you are or what it is that you're actually doing, you can be sure you have definitely caught her eye attention. And if you can get close enough to her, and we mean very close, you are going to notice that her pupils dilate and science tells us that our pupils grow to let in more light to stimulate the brain and we look at things that we find attractive or things that we like and during these conversations take note at just how often she actually looks into your eyes if she's lost in her gaze of you then this is a huge compliment and she may even notice that she has literally been staring at you non-stop for maybe a bit of an awkward couple of seconds where she physically shakes herself and gets distant and wants to walk away she is completely shocked to hear that you are not perfect. Mm -hmm. A study based on human attractiveness states that we assume attractive people to be one of many things, financially well off, they are always happy, and they are always very sure of what they want to do in life, which is a huge standard to actually live up to. So if you tell her that you have had a bad day, or you mention a time in your past where you didn't feel too good mentally, or when you had no direction of life or your career, she will seem really shocked to hear that. She's always presuming that you are on your very best high value self behavior because she holds such a high standard of you that she can't accept any less. The model walk. Mm-hmm, sounds weird, but stay with me. Us ladies can't help but to flaunt what our mamas gave us when we are around someone that we find attractive. Our hips go into auto-wiggle mode, so expect that girl who you think likes you to be walking like she's on the stage of a Victoria's Secret fashion event. Now, this is the art of seduction. It's a seducing walk, all in her attempt to have you all for herself. The suggestive movements, and this is exactly what you think. This teamed up with that model walk is going to literally blow you away with how much she fancies you. Expect her to look like a typical romance model on a photo shoot. If she sat suggestively, she flicks her hair back, reveals her chest and neck, she loosens her wrists up, maybe sits like this or like this, and maybe suggestively plays with her necklace charms or her wine glass. We could say it's a little bit like a suggestive hypnosis. She wants you to get in the sexual mindset because she is highly, highly attracted to you. Her voice deepens. You do have to be an expert to actually spot this one, but let's think about Scarlett Johansson's voice for a second. It's deep and seductive, so expect that girl to emulate something very similar. It's a seductive trap. Naturally, when a lady is trying to seduce someone, she lowers the pitch of her voice ever so slightly. And when she's very happy, she's gonna be very expressive and talk very high. But for the majority of the time when she's around you, she will be lowering her pitch to an Angelina Jolie seductive type to keep you interested in her. She copies you. You have to be an expert to notice this one. And this could be anything subtle from standing the same way as you or leaning on her hands exactly like the way that you do like this to even the most obvious way of copying you, which is to copy your actual slang words. Her feet are pointed in your direction. Her head could be in a complete opposite direction to you, but it's all in the feet. That's where the secret can be told. Remember, she could be playing it off pretty casual, not letting you know that she likes you or interested in you in any way. So the head turn is an obvious way of her saying, I'm blocking you out, you can't tell I like you. However, look down at her feet, because if they are pointed in your direction, it's a big sign she finds you attractive. 
the appearance touch-ups. Mm -hmm. When she is with you, notice how great she always looks. She smells great, her hair is in place, there's no spinach in her teeth, and her makeup looks pretty killer. And it's not that she's not just perfect, because we, we all know we're not actually that perfect, but it's likely she has touched up how she looks before she walked over. She's gonna be checking her reflection out in the mirror before she walks over to make sure that you only ever see the most seductive, beautiful version of her. Does she look flushed? If this is teamed up with some dilated pupils, our body will naturally increase its temperature around the people we are attracted to. So expect to see a flushed face. Naturally, she's going to start sweating more due to anxiety of being around you. So if it smells like she's just touched up her deodorant, bingo, her body is most definitely attracted. You can feel that tension. If it feels almost under a spell of physical lust when you are around her, then that is your hormones being activated. Or perhaps your brain has realized that she is oozing this sexual tension without you seeing any obvious suggestive signs. Now us humans, we are pretty intelligent and we were made to procreate. So innately, we pick up on those around us who are attracted to us for the chance of mating. She greets you with a smile. She's not just going to say, morning. She will make heaps of time for you. She will ask you how you are, what you got up to the day before, and this is always greeted with a big smile. The almost cheesy excuses to be around you. If she happens to always be around you or she's always messaging you with a valid reason, you might be thinking, hmm, maybe she keeps coming over to your desk to constantly fill up her cup because you have the water fountain behind you. And you might think, I'll just shrug this one off. She's just maybe a little bit dehydrated. Or is she always walking past to print something out on the printer because maybe she has lots of printing to do? Hmm, it's not a coincidence. If you don't see See each other much in person, maybe you notice she's always playing the same game as you online and happens to be online when you are online and she's always asking you for advice for something. It's a way of her saying, in a cheesy way, I really like you, let's always hang out. She opens up to you. Despite her wanting to ask you lots of questions to figure you out, she will actually reveal a lot to you in a very short space of time. I just wanted to sit here for 20 minutes and finish my tuna melt and drink my cola, but it turns out I found out that Becky has moved school six times. She has a dog called Spike when she was seven years old and her best friend moved to Canada as soon as she left university. And right now she's looking after her Nana because there was a water leak at the hospital home that she's currently in. What a dinner break direct attention to her lips. Now she could always have those kissable looking lips, perfectly, perfectly moisturized may I add. And she's just drawing more attention to them by biting, sucking, or touching them in front of you, also known as seductive teasing the innuendos. Mm -hmm. If you notice that the conversation between you both turns into sharing your fantasies and also your desires with each other, this was a purposeful move. She wants to seduce you and she knows that sexual talk will basically do just that. She may turn everything into a sexual innuendo and make you out to have a dirty mind when really it was all down to her. The compatibility. Oh my God, you listen to Banks? She's just so under the radar on the scene right now, crazy. Have you heard the second album? I really do prefer the first one though. Oh my God, let's go to a gig together. If you have had this conversation where she gets ecstatic to hear that you both have a similarity, then expect her to make it a huge deal and a common talking point. And there we go, we've reached the end of the video. If you wanna binge some more, click right here. Or if you wanna get your name up on our super fan board, then all you have to do is be a member of our Joy Anima monthly membership. Details will be down below. Like and subscribe, see you soon.